here's a fun little trick you can do. You'll notice every time I touch the screen, it leaves a dot wherever I touched. You can turn that on, but to do so, you need to turn on the developer settings. So if you go to settings here, and then we are gonna to go to system, and then from system, I wanna to go to about. You'll notice I have developer options already here. You won't have that yet, but if you select about, scroll down to the very bottom, and then start tapping your build number. You're gonna see it start counting down there. I believe it's about eight taps, and once you get to it, it'll say developer mode enabled. After that, you'll be able to back out and select developer options. Now, in developer options, you have a plenty of different things you can look through and play with if you'd like, uh, but if you'd like to turn on the dot like I have, you're gonna scroll all the way down into inputs. And it's where it says show touches, select that and turn it on. Once you've turned that on, now whenever you're touching on the screen, you'll notice it leaves a dot wherever you were. So you get in your car and your parking brake is on. You'll notice it's on up here. So the first thing you do is you start your car. Now normally, you'd have to make sure you turn your parking brake off so that you can back up and move. But Honda's done something a little bit different now. So if I put my seatbelt on and then throw the car in reverse, the minute I touch the gas, you'll notice it automatically releases for me. One less step you have to take. All right, so let's say you come out to your car and you go to open the door locks and you realize it doesn't work because maybe your car has died or something has gone awry. I'm gonna show you not only how to get in the car, but also to get in the trunk. Now remember that the trunk is electronically connected inside the car, so it wouldn't normally open um, if you couldn't use your key fob or use the vehicle. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your key out of this slot in the back here. So if you slide that, you'll notice that you can slide this out and a key will pop out. So from here, I would be able to open my front door. After I've opened my front door, I could reach through the back and then open my back door. Now, once I have done that, you are gonna to wanna to get right up in here. And I've already taken the piece off for you to show you, but right here, there will be a panel sitting on here. You're also gonna need your key for this one because what you're gonna to wanna to do is stick your key right there and pop open this panel. Now, once you've done that, You'll notice there's a spot right here that you can put your key into, which I'll move my hand out of the way so you can see it in a second. Now that my key is in that spot, all I've gotta do is turn it, and my trunk pops open. This way, if you ever get stranded, your car battery dies, you could still get your belongings out of your trunk, whether it be free for your kids, your diapers, your bags, uh, your belongings, whatever it may be. That's how you do it. You ever get out of your car, start to walk away, get halfway into the grocery store and wonder if you actually lock the doors? If you're that person, this is a great one for you. If you go to settings, and then from settings, we're gonna select vehicle. Now under vehicle, I want you to go down to door and window setup. And then if you scroll down, you're gonna see walkway auto lock at the very bottom. This is currently turned off. If I turn this feature on and hit save, what this means is the minute I get 10 feet from my car, and I have my key with me, it'll automatically lock the doors. So no longer do you get halfway into the grocery store and wonder if your laptop is gonna be safe when you get back. All you gotta do is save that. Exactly how I got to it, one more time, go to settings, scroll down and go to vehicle. Under vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to go to door and window, and then scroll to the very bottom, walk away out of lock, and turn it on. Have you ever been sitting in your car at night uh, maybe just messing around, checking out something or waiting for somebody, but you don't wanna have your lights on so that people are wondering why you're sitting there. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you're gonna do is make sure that your parking brake is on. So make sure that's set and turned on. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your lights are turned off. So if I turn my lights off, you'll notice here in the reflection of this car in front of me, you can see that my daytime running lights are still on though. And I don't want those on, but I want the car to remain on. So now that I have my emergency brake set, I've turned my lights off. If I go ahead and turn the car off, now my car is completely off. If I start the car back up, now I can have my car on with the AC running, listening to my music, whatever I may need to do while I'm waiting, and you'll notice that you don't see the reflection because my daytime running lights aren't on. Those are not gonna kick on until I turn my emergency brake off, and then there go my daytime running lights. So I'm looking at the left side of my screen and I can see my tachometer, but the minute I go to search, my tachometer disappears. Do you wanna still be able to see the tachometer while you're searching through your screens? Let me show you how to do that. If you go to your settings, and then from here, we're gonna select vehicle, 
and then we want to select the meter setup. Under your meter setup, if you scroll down here, you'll see tachometer. Right now it's turned off. I'm going to turn it on and hit save. Now, if we come back over here, you'll notice I can scroll through and select things while my tachometer remains on. Just a quick trick to a 2020 Honda Accord. Has anybody told you?